Hi everyone, it's Holly with Jen with Dolly. I hope you're all right. <laughs> uh, thank you for being here today with me. It is so nice to see you all. I feel like I've not spoken or done a video in a hundred years. I feel like I say that every single video and it's not intentional. I just, as I've always said, like my journaling and um, my whole YouTube journey and stuff is all a hobby to me and um, I'd love to make it more consistent but unfortunately um just with my work and everything it's just really difficult to to get that in so thank you for still being here if you are here i really appreciate it uh hopefully you know the sporadic nature of my videos just makes it more worth it when i am here yay um so i thought i'd come on and do a journal with me but also do a little update where have i been what I've been doing blah 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 all that stuff because everyone seems to really enjoy those videos um so yeah, I thought I'd come in and do that. Now, this is my current journal. Ew, I've got glue on it. Uh, that I'm currently working on. This is from a shop in um, Barcelona. So unfortunately, I don't know the actual shop name where this was from. Um, I got it from Barcelona Airport. It is hard back but puffy. It says better days ahead in this groovy kind of 60s writing. Uh, it's blank pages, which I am not used to working in, and I've done a little bit of stuff. So um, my 2024 word is progress, um, and then I've broken down my goals into three areas, so work, personal, and money. Um, and I have actually succeeded in doing one of my money goals, even though it's not written down, I've got them on a person note, and I need to pop them in. Um, and then, not really done much since then, uh, I've done a January little moments page. I have uh, gone through and just tagged everything that I need to do. And then uh, I did this page yesterday, which is when I went to see the music of the Beatles by Candlelight at Bradford Cathedral, which was just beautiful, amazing, loved it. Um, what I've got is I've got two pages just out of a random notebook that I had that I've pulled out. Uh, and I'm gonna do big pages on this. So I've done Beatles by Candlelight so we can cross that one off uh, and I need to go back and do these. And then for the small moments, I just need to put these in. So like for this page here, I'm just gonna go back and pop the dates in and write a little tiny bit about each of these things. Um, and so that's just a really manageable way of journaling. And even though I haven't done a lot this year, um, I'm still very much on top of it with this kind of stuff. Now, you might be asking, Holly, what have you been doing with your time, girl, if you haven't been journaling? I have been crafting. I've just been doing a different craft. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, then maybe you might know about it. Um, I'm obsessed with these. Where's the other one that I've done? I've done I've done a lot more than these two, but these are the ones that are just here. These are diamond paintings. Your girl is obsessed. Oh my God, I cannot stop. Um, if anybody wants a video on diamond art, I am more than happy to provide uh, such a video. This is still quite sticky, you know, even though it's been in its binder for such a long time. Um, basically, what diamond painting is, is it's where... I've got a spare one here I can show you. Give me two seconds. Oh, here we go. So basically, you get your picture that you want to do. This is one that I'm that I'm gonna do soon. And this one's of flowers, lots of different flowers. And then you have these um, little crystals. And basically what you do is you just stick them on with a little pen thing. Um, and then it comes up and they create images that look like this. Um, so I think they look brilliant. I've done one and it's in my craft room as we speak. It's a moon with some um, stars and stuff around it and it's it's really pretty. Um, I'm currently working on one which is like a mermaid kind of vibe. Um, I've started, this was the first one I ever did, the sloth. And I just used the ones that were in the kit and then I, I um, covered it with some glitter Mod Podge to set it. Um, and I think it looks really cute. And then this one is um i added in some um a uh, what are they called a b drills because these little crystals are called drills 
and um, the A B drills are basically these like can you see there's like gold and silver and stuff in there and then these like big blue ones are really glittery and um, those are called Aurora Borealis um, drills and basically they mean that they have more reflective so they add a little bit of shimmer and stuff to your pictures um, and I just think they look really good so anyway I'm obsessed with this because when I get home from work what it means is, is that you can literally just sit down I have it all set up on my little lap desk and I sit downstairs and I just you just absentmindedly put the things on and it's just really relaxing and um, I've talked about it before in my videos about how sometimes I find journaling a little bit triggering towards my uh, anxiety and stuff sometimes and I think because I've got so much stuff now um, I've talked a lot about kind of having too much stuff that can also overwhelm you a little bit so by just doing this it's just been so much more relaxing I just cannot explain so if you're an anxious person you might really enjoy diamond painting um so that's just something that I've been doing a lot of and like I say I've got um a couple more that I have completed so I've done uh, a moon one I've done some coasters I'm in the midst of doing the mermaid one um I feel like there's another one that I haven't told you about I can't remember uh, Ooh, sorry, a little yawn there. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been doing in terms of craft-wise. Um, now today, what page shall we do? I'm thinking we're going to just do a small moments page together because um, that's something that I can I can whack out now. I don't have to think again too much about it. So I'm going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put that onto a voiceover so I can continue to talk because uh, I don't like talking when I'm doing all this it's very confusing but um, I find it difficult to talk and create at the same time so uh, I'll get on with with doing the pages and then um, you can listen to what I've been getting up to apart from diamond painting over the top uh, so yeah stick around because in a minute it's going to go to a voiceover and then I'll tell you a little bit more about what we've been we've been getting on with <laughs> so yeah, flicking over to a voiceover now. Hi all, it's me on a voiceover, uh, future me. Um, so yeah, hiya. Um, I thought I would just kind of go through a little bit about what I've been doing, what I've got, oh my god, I can't speak, what I've got upcoming, uh, and also what I actually do on this page, because it's a little bit different to my usual vibe. And um, as usual, as per, I did actually add some extra things after this vi uh, video had finished as well, uh, just because I wasn't fully happy with the, the overall result. Um, so I'll say at the end kind of what I added extra in. Um, so yeah, what I'm doing on this page is I did some watercolour um, as a background. And then I used some of my little notey book things that I've got, which have got like little sticker images in. Um, now, they're very, very widely available on websites like Timu and Sheen. I've been very open that I have used both of those websites before. Um, I'm aware that they have some questionable uh, things going on, you know, with how they uh, supply the stuff. But if you actually look at where everything's made, it's all coming from the same warehouse, guys. It's literally all the same stuff. Uh, so, you know, if you bought it off Amazon, if you bought it from Timu, it doesn't really make a difference because it's exactly the same products. Um, they're just using a middleman, and that's why Timu is cheap because and Sheen because they're going straight to the source. They're not bothering about using, you know, somebody, somebody else to sell their products for them, essentially. So... Um, I actually got these not even off Timu, but I actually got these off Vinted, which is a in the UK anyway. It is a buy and selling website, a little bit like a little bit like eBay, but there's no bidding. Like you can put offers in, but there's no like you know auction or anything. Uh, and it's mainly for clothes. However, do not knock it for craft stuff because there's loads of good stuff on there. Um, I actually got a load of diamond paintings off there. Um, I've got loads of stickers, loads of washi tape, loads of things. And these came in a job lot. And I think there was like 12 different little booklets of these. Um, and basically, yeah, they were like 
um, I think six pounds for all of them because somebody was just having a big D stash. So it's absolutely definitely worth your time um, to have a look on Vinted for, for, for things like that. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm using these little images that I've chosen and I'm just going to put them on the left hand side of the page. Now I, um, it's not usually my usual style where I'm layering and stuff and also like this is a bit of a different thing because I'm using lots of stamps and stuff but I wanted to kind of use stuff that I wouldn't usually use because um, I haven't journaled in a really long time. I wanted to just kind of use everything and just kind of splat everything on the page so that's what I've gone for Um, I'm stood near my open window in my kitchen and it's really really loud so I'm just going to pull this shut because I feel like everyone can hear the cars and they're proper going for it there we go <laughs> hopefully you enjoyed that little bit of ambiance but um, I couldn't even think properly because it was so bloody loud the cars going past Um. So yeah, so anywho, what was I saying? Um, so yeah, so I've used those. Um, I'm also using some um, stamps and co uh, collage paper, scrapbook paper, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then I'm just writing on and I'm using also some vinyl stickers. I did get those from Timu, sorry. Um, but yeah, you can get them on Amazon if you want a conscience clear uh, purchase. <laughs> slightly more um yeah you can get them on amazon for a little bit of a higher price so they do sell them everywhere um in that tin that you're gonna see in a little bit so anywho where have i been what have i do, been doing all that usual stuff you know this is like a catch-up session usually um work has been absolutely crazy i know i say it on every single video but it genuinely is um if you're new here or you don't know what I do. Um, I am a teacher and I teach in a further education college, which is not like college in America, as we all know. If Again, if you've been here before, you know what I'm going to say. Um, it's, it's not like in America. So the students that I teach are between sort of 15, 16 years old, up to kind of 19. I did have a 50, like 50 odd year old in my class um, last year, which was pretty awkward because uh, he kept going on his phone and I was like, I don't want to tell him off because he's an adult. But then the rest of the group were all going on the phones and they're all 16 and I had to tell them off and oh Lord, it was very stressful. Um, but yeah, majority school leavers. So kids who have come out of high school who don't know what they want to do next. And instead of staying at high school, they want to do a vacation. So I'm in the engineering department. So all my students are engineering uh, or mechanic students and uh, they resit in their English GCSE, which is basically the basic qualification that you get when you uh, leave high school. Um, so yeah, they have to do maths and English basically to progress. And uh, yeah, they're doing English with me. So Oh God, it's it's crazy at the moment. Um, I'm currently on uh, Easter holidays, but I go back on Wednesday. Um, now the children don't come back until Monday. Um, but I'm going back on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday to mark their mock papers, which they sat just before the holidays. Um, in our department, because we're in one of the biggest colleges in the UK, um, just in engineering, we've got nearly 400 students on roll. So um, between two of us marking, uh, I've got nearly 200 papers to mark, which, oh my God, just the thought of it alone is making me like panic and just, oh no. Um, yeah, uh, so um, I'm going to have to go mark those. And I can't even get my cute stickers out or anything or my stamps or anything fun because it has to be serious and like the, you know, the stuff that they'll get in the, you know, at the end of the exam, like what mark will they get? And then it's all verbal feedback after that. So I can't even do any like fun stuff like getting my stickers and my stamps out and my coloured pens and all that. It's literally to the, you know, to the feet, to the, um, oh my God, what's it called? The criteria, looking at the criteria, what have they done? What haven't they done? Ticking it, crossing it giving them a mark, giving them a grade at the end, that's it. So, um, yeah, <sighs> not looking forward to Wednesday, Thursday, Friday this week. It's going to be a mountain of work. So, yeah, boo. But um, I have had a lovely week and a half off. Um, I've done lots of things. I've slept over at my friend's house, which was really nice. We got Chinese takeaway and just chilled. Uh, I've done some stuff with my sister, who now lives in Leeds. Uh, and she started her new job today, actually. She's now a dog groomer, which is very exciting. She went and did an intense course uh, for like 12 weeks. 
and now she's a fully fledged qualified dog groomer so she's got a job uh, in a pet shop doing grooming at the back which very exciting she started today hopefully she is okay and it's going well uh so anyway i went shopping with her last week and what else did i do what else have i done um yeah i've, I've been all over the place i've seen lots of people uh, i went home my mum and my stepdad have actually sold their house so they're moving on to pastures new just down the road not that far they're not leaving my nana too far away but um they are moving to a new house um and people are going oh they're downsizing no they've actually up <laughs> they've actually gone up uh, they've got a bigger house uh, with a huge garden and it's for their dog because their dog is a um he's one now but he's just turned one and he's an all english sheep dog and he's huge uh, he needs lots and lots of exercise so on the days where they're working or you know in the winter months when it's getting really dark early and they can't take him for big off the lead walks uh he, they've got a huge garden now which they can run around with him in which is lovely um so yeah so they're going to be moving there in the next couple of months so i've been back home and got out lots and lots of things you know in terms of um you know when you're moving and you find all your stuff and like lots of stuff's in the attic and stuff of my mum's uh of mine from growing up and things so yeah been back there and sorting all that out um at the same time as doing my full-time job i am also a university student because i'm completing my teaching degree whilst being a full-time teacher which i know it seems insane i think it's insane also uh, but yeah i i'm on a salary of a teacher i do all the teacher jobs i do everything but because of my experience before i did this job they were like oh hun you'll be absolutely fine come and be a teacher and we'll train you up at the same time so that's what I'm doing. Um, I am really happy to share that I got distinction, so top mark you can get in everything last term, which was really, really nice. And also you'd maybe expect that like, oh, you're doing the job. So like, of course you got that. But there's other people on my course who are also doing the job full time and they didn't get that. And um, so, yeah, it was really validating and really nice. And, um, yeah, I'm really, really chuffed to have, to have done that well. Um, so, yeah, I, I got distinctions in absolutely everything. So it shows I'm doing something right. All my lesson visits that I've had, people watching me teach and all that stuff has been really, really good as well. Um, really, really positive feedback. Um, I've had some right characters this year as well. I've had some very, very challenging behaviour because uh, people think, oh, you know... They want to be there, they want to do the mechanics, they want to do their engineering, so they'll behave for you. Yeah, they want to do that. They don't want to be with me. So uh, they don't want to be redoing their English. So I do have quite a bit of um, very, ooh, what's the word? Yeah, challenging, yeah, very challenging, very nasty sometimes behaviour to have to try and contend with. Um, and I've had that quite a lot this year, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a challenge when I'm getting home from work. I'm just not wanting to sit in journal if I'm being honest it's my brain is just gone and when you're in that constant fight or flight you know especially with people at work you just kind of want to come home and do nothing you know you feel the bottom eyes if I'm being honest you just want to sit there and do absolutely nothing so that's why the diamond painting has become such a comfort to me uh, at the moment because I've needed that real downtime where I don't have to think at all it's a craft where I can just sit and hypnotically put the dots on the page and not really have to think about anything. Whereas even when you glue book in, um, I know some people are happy just to do the random pages and just stick anything anywhere, but I'm not like that. I have to have an order. I have to set it all out and really think about how my pages are going to do. And I've told you before, I like making stories up and stuff. And at the end of the day teaching, I do not feel like doing that. <laughs> uh, and doing my uni work, I, I don't feel like doing that. So, um that's why as well the diamond painting has become such a huge part of my life at the moment i'm just absolutely loving doing it um i've got lots and lots of exciting things coming up as well which i just wanted to touch on because um i am thinking of doing some little vloggy stuff as well about these trips and i have done a little bit of vlogging before i did it when i went to barcelona there's a little vlog there i did a little bit when i went to bologna in italy uh, there's a little bit on that um, where I've kind of filmed where we are and kind of, you know, I've done a little voiceover to show you where the stuff is and stuff. Uh, and usually they're accompanied with a 
a haul of such so like stuff that i've bought there for specifically crafting now the places i'm going um this year might not really warrant a haul video afterwards uh, some of them might but you know some of them also really might not so just really wanted to see if people will be interested in potentially blogs you know upcoming so um sorry someone's like running outside my door <laughs> that's so weird um so some of the places that i'm going is um oh, we've had an absolute drama with going to a bloody cottage so me and will were going to go to a cottage in um in just in hebden bridge which is literally um a, a 40 minute train drive ride from where we live it's not very far at all you probably drive it in about half an hour um it's really really close but it's just a nice little bit of change of scenery it's a lovely little town very arty and we were going to go there for the uh, maybank holiday however they cancelled last night to tell us that uh, unfortunately it's now become unavailable very weird when it's one cottage and i don't know why it's unavailable when we literally ordered it very very strange um we think it's because they've realised it's a bank holiday and everywhere else is charging more. So they thought, oh, I know, we'll cancel that and we'll get a bit more cash for it. So very, very cheeky. And then we booked another one in a different place. And then that one went as well. Um, so now we've got nowhere. We've literally got no... <laughs> we've literally got no cottage booked. Uh, but now we're thinking maybe going sometime in August because we've got pretty much all of August free. Um, so, yeah, maybe that might happen eventually. The other place I'm definitely going to, which I'm absolutely, oh my God, ecstatic that I'm going. I am so excited. Me and my two friends are going to go to Hay Festival, which is in Hay on Wye in, um, in Wales. And it's a book festival. It's a literacy festival. And I'm absolutely buzzing. It's one of the biggest in the world. There's some amazing speakers this year. It's all speakers, really, that you go and see. Um, and, you know, it's in, like, tents. And there's, like, crafting as well. Um, and there's, like, re uh, readings from books and, like, discussions. And um, comedy clubs on the night. And we're staying in a yurt. So, like, glamping. So we're going to have a bed and everything. And there's no electricity in the tent, but there is charging pots around. Um, and, oh, my God, I'm so excited. We're going from Monday all the way till Thursday. And uh, so we're going for three nights. We're seeing Sarah Pasco on one of the nights. Um, we're seeing... I'm going to a TikTok thing where it all talks about, like, TikTok influence uh, reading and things like that, like the trends that are happening on there. Um, I'm going to see Jacqueline Wilson, which, oh my God, I'm going to cry my eyes out because she's literally one of my heroes of all time. Uh, if you don't know who Jacqueline Wilson is, she's a very famous British uh, author. She wrote Tracy Beaker, if anyone's heard of that. Um, and basically, she wrote a lot of books all about kids who have got really tough lives <laughs> and uh, designed for children though so like when I was little living in my little suburban bubble of happiness I got to find out all about different families and different situations that were happening and um, she really is a voice for those children who do get forgotten or do have really really tough lives and a lot of them are quite traumatic but Oh my God, brilliant, brilliant stuff. And the reason why I do my job now, absolutely hands down, she inspired me to do that. So, oh God, I'm going to be weeping my eyes out. She's just brought out that she's going to be writing a book for adults, um, which is going to be a follow-on from one of her series that I loved when I was a teenager. Oh my God, I cannot wait. So super excited about seeing her and going to that and just can't wait. Um, we're also going to another, a couple of other talks. Um, but yeah, and it's set in Hay on Wye. And Hay on Wye is a, a town in Wales, which is known as the book capital of the UK. There's something like 17 independent bookshops there. Um, so I'm probably going to get some really good books for journaling, actually, in terms of like cutting stuff up and glue booking in that. So I definitely could do a haul with that. But I didn't know if people would be interested in me kind of vlogging while I was there and seeing what the festival was like because you know that is pretty cool um there's lots of celebrities going doing talks there's Miriam Margulies, Dame Judi Dench 
um, James Blunt, who else is going this year? There's quite a few uh, really, really good talks happening. Uh, Stephen Fry, um, I really would have loved to see Marie Margulies, but firstly, it's sold out because it sold out to members before it even went on public sale. And secondly, we're not there. It's on the Saturday and we're not there on the Saturday. Um, but it's the day after my birthday, so I'm really, really looking forward to going there. Um, so we're doing that. And then me and Will are going to Sicily uh, to... God, Taramelina, Taram, that isn't the place, I don't think it's called that, I can't remember, um, Taramina, something like that, it's on the east, and um, we're going there for a week in half term in October, oh my god, I can't wait, I'm so excited, um, because I obviously went to Italy a couple of years ago for my friend's Hindu, but only for a couple of days, um, and I'm really excited to, to go to Sicily because that's where my mum lived. Um, my mum lived in Palermo when she was 18 as a nanny. So really excited to go there. Really want to go to Palermo for the day and go to the catacombs and all the really exciting stuff there. So ah, really excited for that. Um, but yeah, I think that is about everything. My phone is actually going to die. It's on 5%. So I'm running up the stairs. <laughs> like a lunatic to try and um put this on charge before it dies when i've just done all this video oh god where's the charger Ooh. Ta -da! we're okay <laughs> we survived um but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and i hopefully will see you in the next one soon the little bit that i did um on that picture by the way you know the little extras that i was talking about i added some like little have a look oh get my breath back um <laughs> i added some little um heart stickers and leaves and things to the grid so there is a little bit more layering than uh, it shows on there because i just love a layer and i can't cope if there are any there and um, so what i'm gonna do is oh i'm gonna get my breath back after running up the stairs <laughs> to charge my phone uh, but i'm gonna let this play out and hopefully you will uh, enjoy the end result and uh, yeah hopefully i'll see you in the next one let me know if you're interested in them vlogs and let me know if you're interested in seeing any sort of diamond paint with me videos because i know that they are a thing on youtube but obviously in this community i'm not sure how much that would be wanted so let me know if that's something that you would like to see uh but yeah until the next one i will see you soon i'm gonna Oh, go and die because I'm just so unfit <laughs> and um, yeah I will I'll see you in my next video soon and thank you for always sticking with me and just being amazing um, but yeah I'll see you later adios amigos bye